there are significant changes coming to how companies must report their lease obligations. For the last 40 years, most leasing activities have only been disclosed as a footnote to the financial statements. Upcoming changes to the standards under both U.S. GAAP and IFRS will require almost all lease obligations be included on the balance sheet. This signifies a huge shift, and the time frame to implement these changes is shrinking daily. For most companies, the changes go into effect on January 1, 2019. As organizations adapt their processes to comply, gaps will emerge. CBRE has the tools, technology, and expertise needed to close them. So what exactly are these changes, and how will they affect your organization? The new standards affect three key areas, classification, calculation, and modification. Under the new standards, operating leases will no longer simply be stated in a footnote. All leases must be on the balance sheet regardless of their classification. However, when it comes to the income statement, classification does matter. While the rent paid over the term of a lease will remain the same, the expense reported on a company's income statement per U.S. GAAP will vary depending on whether the lease is classified as an operating or a finance lease. Under IFRS, however, all leases will be treated as finance leases, for which the expense decreases over time, potentially resulting in a significantly different expense recorded on the income statement. These new complexities can be tricky to navigate and also impact how these amounts are calculated. Companies making payments for the right to use an asset will soon need to record these as both an asset and a liability on the balance sheet. As well as base rent, initial direct costs, and lease incentives, the amount on the balance sheet must now also take into account options that are reasonably certain to be exercised, requiring a new level of input from multiple stakeholders. And the new complexities around options don't stop there. Currently, when you sign a lease, you simply set it and forget it. Going forward, when a lease is modified, companies will be required to recalculate, record, reconcile, and review future lease events. In all of these areas, what was previously a footnote disclosure could now be a material addition to the balance sheet. The new level of detail will enable businesses to better manage their real estate portfolios, mitigate risks, and take advantage of opportunities. But adjusting to changes that have such a broad impact is no small task. This is where CBRE can help. We do this in three ways. First, we abstract the data from your lease documents and, performing a data readiness analysis, identify and resolve gaps and inconsistencies, a crucial step for complying with the rigors of the new standards. Next, complete data is fed into our integrated lease administration and lease accounting platforms, allowing us to deliver services that are both cost-effective and comprehensive. Finally, our platform allows you to transmit lease data seamlessly to your finance applications to support footnote disclosures and journal preparation. Our dedicated transition teams with deep expertise in the field of commercial real estate have been helping clients manage their portfolios for over 20 years. By bringing together data management, process, and technology in one effective package, we can deliver everything you need to meet the evolving demands of lease accounting. Let CBRE Portfolio Services help you manage all the moving pieces and keep your well-oiled machine running smoothly.